Hi, I'm Paul Bruce from Super Galactic. And I'm I'm telling you right now, WWE, if you're watching it, you just lost a fan. I'm not watching crap where you set a wrestler on fire. Like, that, that's entertaining. Because I'm going to tell you right now, WWE, that is not entertaining. And as passionate as I am about mental health, that's the last thing a mental health person needs to see that's got mental health problems. Because even Megan Keller was talking about how you got to watch what you say on TV where you don't try to channel something to a mental health person because in that person's mind, they'll, they'll think Megan Kelly's talking to them. And you can't channel things like that. And that's like what the WWE is trying to do. They're trying to channel things. And you had to watch that. There was this kid that was wrestling one of its family members as a kid. And it broke this person's neck. And they was tried as an adult. And that person is in prison for the rest of his life. Because he can't separate fact from fiction. He thinks wrestling is real. And he ended up paying with his life by serving the rest of his life in prison. Now am I saying that WWE is responsible for for the actions that this kid took? No, he didn't. WWE didn't make the child do that. But they don't help matters. Because like I said, it's WWE channeling things through people that may have mental health problems. So I'm telling you people, if you got mental health problems, don't watch the WWE anymore. Because I wouldn't want you to get something from them that makes you think that it's okay to do it to somebody else. Because... I'm going to tell you, Rasson's fake. I've always knew that. But it never stopped me from watching it. I watched it because I wanted to see a good match. And I don't even mind them running their mouth. Because to me, that's entertaining. Because I look at it as it's hyping up the match. But burning people, that's not entertaining. That's going too far. And anybody that thinks that's okay, well, you keep watching and allowing it to mess up your mind and your children's mind. But you'll be responsible for what happens to your mind and, and what your children's mind as well. Because I'm not going to let that mess my mind up. And it can if I watched enough of it, but no more. And it's like I was telling Jer Jeffrey Darty when I called on his YouTube channel. Uh, we got to unplug from the metrics and stop supporting the system. And by people watching the WWE knowing they're doing this crap, it's us supporting the system. And I'm not going to do that. If they're going to do crap like that, I'm not going to support them. And I got a lot of respect for Jeffrey Darty because he says... When the football players want to get all political, he's not going to watch their games anymore. And I got respect for Jeffrey Darty for that. He's taking a stand. He's unplugging from the damn metric and finally stopping supporting them. And that's what we got to do. We got to stop supporting the system and feeding them. Cut off the feeding supply. Cut off the power supply that they get from us. I'm tired of supporting people like that. Because it's like when they set the theme on fire, it's like they're trying to get us a glimpse of hell. Which I don't believe hell is this because no human being deserves to be put through torment like that. We're divine, we're sovereign, we're free, we're not just cattle on this planet that's just worthless. We're not like it. The divine is real. It's not like 
It's been told in the Bible. And I'm going to 